Investigating Systems of Equations, Lesson 8.1a. We've learned many ways to graph a linear equation in slope-intercept form. For example, we can use the slope and the y-intercept, or we could find two points that satisfy the equation and connect them with a line. So remember, slope-intercept form of an equation is y is equal to mx plus b. This is the slope m. These are the x and y values that satisfy the equation, and b here is the y-intercept where the line crosses the y-axis. A system of linear equations is a set of equations that have the same variables. A system of linear equations are often called a linear system. And a linear system can consist of two or more equations with the same variables. This is a system of linear equations. Notice both equations of the system contain the same variables. They both have a y and an x. We can graph the pair of equations together on one grid. So looking at this first equation, we know this negative 3 that our line, this red line for this first equation, crosses the y-axis at negative 3. We also know the slope m is a 2. We can write it as a 2 over a 1 for the rise over the run. So from negative 3, we go up 2, 1, 2, that's our rise, and we go over 1, so we have a point here. And we can go up 2 and over 1, we would have a point here. We go up 2 and over 1, we would have a point here. For our second equation, we know that it's going to cross the y axis at negative 1. So it's crossing the y-axis right here at negative 1. We also see nothing here as a coefficient. And we know there's an invisible 1 there, so we could say the rise over the run is 1 up and 1 across. So from this negative 1, we're going to go up 1 and over 1. So that means we're going to come here. And if we go up 1 and over 1, we've got a point here, and so on. And if we go, you know, up one and over one, we've got a point here. We can use a straight edge to draw the line just like we would do here. So now we have these two lines. Well, the two lines intersect at the point 2 for x, 1 for y, which will be a solution to the system of equations. If we needed to find the solution to each of these equations, 2 for x, 1 for y would fit both equations. It would fit the system. We can write a system of equations with these curly braces, and that would be used to show the equations in the system. We can also just write them without the curly braces, just stacked on top of each other to show they're a system. You might see them like that in your textbook. It'll be two, three, or four equations that are just stacked on top of each other like that. Well, we can tell whether 2 for x, 1 for y is a solution to the system by substituting the x and y value, the 2 and 1, into the equations. If we put 2 for x and 1 for y into each of the equations, we get 1 is equal to 2 times 2 minus 3, which is 1 is equal to 4 minus 3, and that's true. And for this one, we have 1 is equal to 2 minus 1. Well, that's true also. If the ordered pair results in a true statement for all equations in the linear system, the ordered pair is a solution to the system of equations. If we substitute the x and y values into the equations and find a true statement for only one of the equations where the other equations are false, the ordered pair will not be a solution to the system of equations. It's all or nothing. Here we have our equation y is equal to 2x minus 3. Every point along this line is a solution for this equation. Doesn't matter where we go, every point along this line would be a solution for the x and y values for this equation. Same for this one. Every point along this line, it doesn't matter where we go along this line, every x and y value would be a solution for that equation. But only one point 
such as this two for X and one for Y, where the lines intersect will be a solution to both equations of the system and be a solution to the system of equations. Since a solution of both equations will be a point found on both graphed lines, it must be the intersection of the graphed lines. We have our system of equations and our answer for the system of equations. The point of intersection for all the graphed lines of a system of equations is a solution that fits all the equations of that system. Each individual equation may have other solutions, but to be a solution for the system of equations, it must be shared by all of the equations within that system. So one more time to review, the slope-intercept form of an equation is y is equal to mx plus b, where the y and the x values are the ordered pair of x and y values that satisfy the equation and make it true. We have our m for our slope, our rise over our run. We have our plus b, that's our y-intercept b, where the graph line crosses the y-axis. So remember, the slope m can be written as a rise over run as a ratio, a fraction. If we know that m is equal to 5, we can write it as 5 over 1 as a fraction for our rise over our run so that we can graph the line. So we finished 8.1a. We're going to move on to b. Let's try solving some systems of equations graphically. Remember, it's all or nothing. It's a solution to all the equations in the system, or it's not a solution. Keep trying, and join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.